Hello team. Happy Thursday. How are you guys? Welcome to another Thursday training. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this tradition and I already got a guest speaker for next Thursday. I'm so excited. You guys know her. It's Beth. Beth is amazing. But um, she is going to be bringing on some really good stuff. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep this tradition of Thursday trainings. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a few more seconds to see who jumps on the live before I get started. Um, you guys, I didn't like Facebook parties. I didn't. And I think it's because I hadn't found one that worked for me. Because now that I have found one that works for me and I've tailored it to me, like I'm really enjoying them and they're, I'm having a good success rate with them. So, um, Hey Ashley. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this doesn't get very long. So, okay. Facebook parties, you guys. So right now our party planning company kind of went just, you know, virtual, right? Because of this whole COVID-19. I mean, you can still do basket parties, but basket parties, um, a lot of my hostesses don't want the stuff because they're like, well, you know, like, I don't know how to sanitize it. I don't know how to keep it clean. And I understand them. Like for me, when I, when I show anything to anybody, it's easy for me to Lysol it down, wipe it down clean, but they're scared to ruin my stuff. Right? So I completely understand. So I've gone completely virtual. And a few of you guys have been asking me like, well, what are you doing? Like, what, how are you getting all these parties? And what are you making them? Like, what are you doing to make them successful? Because let's, let's be honest, you guys, I used to do Facebook parties and they would flop. They would flop. I would have to add orders to them. I would have to just tell the hostess like, Hey, nobody ordered. Like, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I would always look at all the mock parties out there and try to do what they were doing. But guess what? It was not me. I was copying and pasting, copying and pasting everything I saw and it was just not me. So let's go back, let's just get started with the whole, how, like, how do you get Facebook parties? Ask, 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 ask. I cannot get like, I cannot say that enough. If you have, if you're at zero this month, so you have no one that has placed an order, you need to start thinking of like your close friends and family that would do anything for you and ask them to do a party. You guys, when COVID-19 hit, like started, I literally said, okay, I went from having home parties that I already had booked that now needed to be virtual. And I said, I need these to be successful. So I only had two or three. I can't go out and collect orders. So Alejandro, bring it down a notch. You're being a little bit loud. Um, and so I, what I did is I, I started just literally said on my Facebook, I took about, I think it was like 20 minutes to half an hour and I started messaging people and asking them, would you like to do a virtual party and get some free Sensi? I got a lot of no's, lots of no's. I got left on red, but that did not stop me. Every time a no came in, I asked somebody else. Instead of letting that no bring me down, I was like the waitress offering a dessert to the other table. You don't want it? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna go ask one more person. I got a lot of no's that day. I think I asked over 25 people and I booked four parties, you guys. 25 people and I booked four parties. I know that sounds discouraging, but those four parties got me a new recruit. They got me two more parties. And there, that host that got me the two parties and that new recruit, I've gotten two more parties from her, just referring me. So those four people that said yes have grown my business this season, okay? So if you have no orders or you're sitting at, like you have orders but you don't have any parties on your books, think of five people at least that you know would do anything for you. That they're so supportive of your Sensi business. Maybe they're your best customer. Maybe it's your best friend, maybe it's your sister, your cousin, whoever. And you ask them, you, t you be honest with them and you tell them, hey, I really need to train myself on Facebook parties. 
Would you host a Facebook party and you can get free Sensi and I'll give you a gift. Give them a scent circle, you guys. It doesn't matter what you give them. I give my hostess this cute little packet, okay? I will show you guys exactly what's in it. Um, I'm not finished with this one. I have to send this one out tomorrow. So I do have some samples to make tonight. Um, but I give them a cute little hostess packet with some samples, with some products, and then all the instructions and everything that they need to make this party successful, okay? So I don't go overboard with the gift giving when it comes to hostesses. But now if their party is a certain amount, like I had this girl who, hey, you guys, I'm doing a training. I told you guys to keep it down. Thank you. Get off the couch. Thanks. Um, I had this girl that did an amazing party and I hadn't given her a gift. So I got her the mini fan with some scent pods. I got it for half off. Okay. So use your rewards to build up what you give to your hostesses. Okay. Everyone that orders from you, especially if their order is 40 to $50 or more, ask them to host a party. I got two parties yesterday from Yoda, um, the child, sorry, from the child, because they're spending $40 and up. I had one girl that said, okay, yes, I want to go ahead and pay for my, the child. And I want to add C3PO and can I add two Mandalorian cents and one dark side scent. Her order was $76.50. I said, hey, do you want me to open up a shopping link that you can share with your coworkers, your family and friends, and we can do a virtual party and you can get some free and half off since because you're already ha almost halfway there. She said, go ahead. She just hosted a party in like March. Doesn't matter to her, she's halfway there. So she's like, why not? It, it's not gonna hurt her. She's already spending the money. The other one is buying two of the child. So she's spending like 80 something dollars PRV. And I told her, I'm like, hey, you're almost halfway to a party. I'm pretty sure your mom and your sister that you just gave Sensi to for Mother's Day would love to get some Sensi. So why don't we have a party and we can get you um, some free and half off cents for you? Perfect, yes. And she's even interested in me selling my Millennium Falcon to her. So I'm like, oh, like, I'll think about it. But like, if she buys that, that's another $65. Cause you bet you bottom dollar, I'm gonna be adding that PRV to the party and getting myself something else. So everyone who orders, especially if they are bigger orders, you need to be asking them. You guys, I hate rejection. Hate rejection. I know it sucks. But you guys need to get over that hump of not wanting to hear no. The more no's you hear, the closer you are to your yes. Oh my gosh. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. Go. You're fine. Go sit down. Go get the, go get the tablet out of my purse and go put it to charge and find something to do. Okay? Um. So, where did I leave off? Sorry, you guys. I think it needs to be charged. You need to go charge it. Um, he charge. Okay. It's already charged. That's what he said. What, what do you do with a customer within a party that already placed the order through the party link? What do you mean, Merba? Like their own party link? If they order through their own party link, that goes to, the, to their rewards. Like, it might, I mean, they're, they're, they're upping their rewards if they um, shop through their party link. If they're shopping through your party link, you can, you can change that party to, their, to, to them if you don't have anything in there. Because you can always change the host. But if they just like shopped through a party that you've just been collecting orders and you're going to close out... Me personally, because I do collect a lot of orders, I would tell them that they have. So I would open a party for them. And let's say that they ordered $40. I would count those $40 for their party, even if I don't have them yet. Because I can always add another order of $40 to that party and get them that PRV that they missed out on for placing that order on another link. I hope that that answers your question. If it doesn't, let me know. Um, okay, so you ask everybody. Get over the hump of, get, of, of getting those. If you're not getting parties, 
you're not asking enough people. And if you're not getting yeses, it's because you're not asking enough people to go through the no's to get to the yeses. Reality is, you're always gonna have a higher percentages of no's than yes, because people don't like to party, people don't wanna ask their friends to buy anything, people don't like direct sales, etc., etc., etc. If you had parties in the fall, you need to be asking those hosts to host a party. I, when I host a party, when I have someone host a party, I plant the seed for them to host a party in the next season. Like my friend that just hosted a party and we closed it out in May, I already told her, I'm like, hey, we have um, a new catalog coming in August. You should definitely think about hosting a party in September because everybody's gonna love our harvest collection. Already planted the seed. When it gets closer to, I'm gonna message her and be like, oh my gosh, have you seen our, our catalog? Let's book that party. You need to get them to host a party twice a year, one per catalog, if not more. Tell me about your last no response. I don't remember your last no response. I'm trying to think. Send me another clue, cause I'm like, not, it's not coming up. Okay, so that's how you get parties, you guys. You ask, 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 ask. Like you need to be asking, okay? Um, now, how do you prep your host? First thing and foremost, you need to come up with a hostess packet. You need to have something. You don't have to give them anything. You don't, if you can't afford to do full size products, you guys, give them samples. You wanna give them something. The one I sent you. Oh my God, I'm like drawing a blank. <laughs> like I have no idea. Did you send that to me through Messenger? No, through. Oh, the one that was like, I don't ask my friends to to buy stuff, but she hosted a party before or something like that. I can't remember exactly what happened, but that was, yeah, that screenshot was hilarious. I was like, really? Like you don't ask your friends to buy anything, but you've hosted a party with her before? Um, okay, so hostess packet. You guys, this is what I include in my hostess packet. Instructions as to what is going on, okay? Literally breaks it down for them because they're not gonna look through the catalog and read every little piece of paper. So this one says, hey, Sensi fans, let's party. Create your wish list, share and gather orders, return and earn, okay? I dropped my directions one, of course. Oh my gosh. Directions, collect a minimum of $200 total. Main goal is 500, that's the biggest rewards. And this is why you'll, you'll earn increased host rewards, free shipping, and my exclusive host bonus. I don't know what I'm gonna do there yet because I haven't had anybody reach 500, but you, better, you bet your bottom dollar I'm giving them a gift. I'm gonna give them something. Your rewards, so that it breaks it down for them, what they're earning for every category, because you want them to know what they're working towards, okay? Catalog tips, it tells them there's a table of content, there's a fold out page, there's a bundle and save on page 64 and 65. There's a fragrance chart on page 62 and 63. No outlets, look at our unplug section. Um, Sensi Club, you know, it says, and remember, don't leave wax anywhere warm, it will melt, you are responsible for any product damage while in your care. This is perfect for when you have basket parties, but I give it to them anyway, okay? Talks about the opportunity because I want to plant that seed, okay? Tells them what they can get if they join. And it says, let's do this. Now that you've read over the, the host handbook, it's time to party. Contact me with any questions. Don't worry, I'm here to help you rock this and earn the best rewards possible and it has my information. So this, they read over. I got these from the Sensi Success Store. It is a breakdown of every single like system that we have and how it works. Because guess what? They might not know about our goals or our diffusers, but if they have something that they can refer to when their family and friends ask, they can look it up. So I give them that. I'm giving them my bring back my bar um, June 2020 uh, selection because these parties will be going into June. A catalog and a join brochure with the top 10 reasons to join, which I actually have them right here. So I might as well put it in here because this is a hostess packet I'm sending out tomorrow. 
So, top 10 reasons to join. And this, this is in our team page. That's on our team page. This is on our team page. I'm not exactly sure if this is on our team page because I had it like hard copy and I lost it and I had to go and refind it. Actually, I didn't lose it. I cut the hard copy to give to someone and I'm like, that was my hard copy. Um, so I put all that in and then I throw sample. I throw product and samples in here. I throw a bar. I always do a bar. And you guys, I usually do the scent of the month bar, but my June scent of the month is not here yet. So I am improvising and I'm doing just regular bars that I have in stock. So this lady got an aloe water and cucumber. I have these cute little sponges left over from scent crates that I did last spring. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give them dish soap and a sponge. So I did the sponge and then I'm doing a dish soap and I got to go buy more bottles because I ran out. So. You don't have to give them a whole lot. Give them something that they can talk about in their party, especially if they're new to Scentsy. Their family and friends will trust their word better than your word. Like if they tell them, oh my gosh, Liz gave me a sample of the Scentsy Fresh and oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. I can't wait to order my Scentsy Fresh. My house smells amazing. Their family and friends are gonna trust her word more than mine. So give them samples that they can use and they can rave about during their launch party. I mean, during their host, their Facebook party or a virtual party. Now, that's the first thing I do to prep them is I, I send that out or I drop it off whatever way that um, we can do it. Some people are local, some people are not. So some people I do have to mail it out. After that, I go and I create their party group, okay? Now, I did start using groups. They are, I never wanted to do groups because I was like, what am I going to do with all these groups after this person like stops hosting? I mean, yeah, hosting, but they don't join. But then I watched the training by freaking, um, I'm just going to call them the crew because I don't even know what to call them. Chloe and her SSDs where they invited Wendy Newgas and I had just barely started using groups and Wendy said, if they join, this becomes their VIP group. I don't have to change anything. These people are gonna be their customers, not mine. They're already there. They already have the basic information. She just has to continue going from, from there. So I was like, you know what? I wanna set my new consultants up for success. Like I took everybody out of my VIP group that's a consultant because I wanna give my customers the VIP treatment. So this is a perfect way to show a new possible team member how to run a VIP and then just flip it to be her VIP group. So we just change the name to so-and-so's VIP and we make her the admin. And if she wants me out, I get out. Like if I ask them, I'm like, do you want me to stay on here? Do you want me to get out? It's up to you. This is how you want to run your VIP group. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, people, when they join the group, they're going to get notifications a little bit better than events. So events, for me, we're not working because people were not getting the notifications. And I thought events would be easier, but they're not. So events, even if you put an end date, people were not getting the notifications. So they were not like coming back to see all the stuff that I was posting. So I create their group and I send them a message and I say, Oh my gosh, so-and-so I'm so excited for your party. I just finished preparing your group. Here is a two to three minute video with some tips on how to make your party successful. When you watch it, let me know and I'll go ahead and add you to the group. When you watch it, let me know and I'll add you to the group. I want her to watch the video because it goes over a few tips. It goes over, first of all, it thanks her for hosting once again because I'm always thanking my hosts for hosting. Two, it tells them how to invite people. It gives them tips. It gives them about tips about like, you know, yes, put a blanket statement on your Facebook or Instagram or whatever saying, I'm hosting a Sensi party who would like an invite. Those people are the easy invites. Those people are the people that you're just going to add to the group. After that, you're going to think about who's going to want Sensi and you're going to personally invite them. Let them know that you would like them to come because that's going to make them feel more special. It tells them about being interactive in the group because I want them to be interactive. I don't want them to just sit back, relax, and just like do this the whole time I'm posting. No, you guys know the host. You guys know your guests better than I do. You know what your sister decorates, how your sister decorates your house. 
You know how your best friend decorates her house. You know who has kids, who has pets. I don't. So when I post about these things, tag your family and friends. Tag them on the post that you know they're going to love. Share the sensi that you just got. So it talks about all those things. And then it tells them to just kick back, relax, have fun. And if they have any questions, let me know. And it says, oh, and yes, if during this time you decide you want to join and do what I do, this party is yours. These are going to be your guests, your customers. So I am more than happy to flip this party for you, get you going, and we'll make this your launch party. You guys, that's what I did with Jessica. She decided to join before her party started. We went ahead and we flipped it to her launch party. There is no reason why I should be keeping anybody's customers. They're going to service them better than I can. So I will more than gladly flip every single party I have if they decide to join. So that is what the video covers. And don't worry, I do have a clip of the video that I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, tips. So you need to find a virtual party that works for you. Okay. I've gone ahead and I've created a Tinker Stars Team mock Facebook group for you guys to see exactly what I'm posting, when I'm posting it, how I'm posting it, what graphics I'm posting, what I'm saying, etc., etc., etc. But if it doesn't fit you, if four days is too short or four days is too long or you don't like the way that I post this, that's okay. Change it up. Make it your own. That's what I did. I, wanted, I went on a Facebook mock group that Beth recommended and I copied and pasted everything that they posted on there. And then every time I posted it, I was like, this makes no sense. Or this is too long. Or this doesn't even talk about our products. And I changed it up and I made it my own. Okay, so started using groups. That was a game changer, like Rachel said. It was a game changer. I would say out of, how many parties did I have in May? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I had six Facebook parties in May. Six. I've never have had six parties, period, in a month. Six Facebook parties. And I would say about 50-50. Um, actually, no. So I had five because Jessica turned into her launch party. So I had five. Um, Nanette's was over 500. Micaela was over 350. Alicia's is almost to 200. Lynn is at zero, but she is collecting orders from her mom and herself. And then my sister decided to come back and she's collecting orders. So you guys, I would say about 75%. I'll take 75% versus zero, which was what I was getting with my other parties. Okay. Yeah, but as we learn and as we get better, because practice makes better, and you'll find your niche and you'll find like things that work and things that don't work. And every time I had a Facebook party, I would look back, I would go back and say, what can I improve? What can I do better next time? You know, what can I do to be more real, to be more um, personable through a camera? Because people are not... Um, you know, they're not, I'm not at a party just chilling with them and talking and like getting to know them. Like, I'm through a camera. They can't talk back to me except for commenting, right? Um, so you have to really watch what you're doing and say, okay, like how can I improve? What can I take from that party and keep doing? What can I take that from that party and learn um, and teach myself from? So I started using groups and it has changed it, right? You guys, my Facebook parties are four days long with the day before the party actually starts. So I create the group. I add the host. Um, usually it's at night because, you know, they work or whatever. The next day I am introducing myself. I am asking them to introduce themselves. I tell them a little bit about how this party is going to run. I have a video for that, telling them how exactly this Facebook is going to, uh, Facebook party is going to go. And then I give them the schedule for the first day. First day that party kicks off, I post about different things. Then it goes into the second day. Usually on the second day is when I do my live. So it's like halfway in between the first day and the last day. I will post day three and I will post day four. And after that, I leave it open until the party qualifies. Yes, I will go in there and post from time to time. But most of, most, like mostly what I'm doing after that time frame is I'm communicating with the host. And I'm saying, hey, your party's at this much. Like, when would you like to close it? 
I do let them know when the party is closing, like if we already know that. And if the party has not qualified yet, yeah, I'll go in and post and I'll talk with my host and say like, hey, your party's at this, like we just need a couple more orders. Most of them are posting. Most of them are saying like, hey, you guys, we're really close to like, you know, qualifying party, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So get the hostess involved. Get them to do, they know their, their guest better than you do, okay? Um, another thing that I'm doing that has been very, very, very helpful is on my welcome post. This is exactly what my welcome post will say. Um, Sensi has dropped an amazing spring summer catalog and so and so wants to share it with you. The Sensi party is right here on Facebook and online, but don't think it won't be fun. We can party virtually and have a good time. Like surprises, fill this form out and I will send you out a sample packet. That Google form gets me their address, their phone number, their email, and it asks them three questions. Would you like join information? Would you like to host a party? And if so, what kind? I have gotten more people to ask me about join information than I've ever had. And I've gotten more people to say, yes, they're willing to book a party. And obviously virtual party has been the choice right now. And it's been easier to go back to those party guests and say, hey, I saw that you wanted to book a party. What day works for you? Because I don't have the pressure. <laughs> I don't have the pressure of just posting and waiting for someone to comment. They might not feel comfortable commenting and having everyone see that they might want join information or that they want um, host information. Because you guys, let's be quite honest, direct sales doesn't have the best rep. For what? For my, for my, um, fries. No, that's not for fries. Just put it down. When I'm done with my training, I will help you. Thank you. Um, okay. So that form helps out a lot. It also tells them to order your favorite. You can send your host or myself a message or shop online and you can either do the party link or you can do a Google form like order form. If you want to do the order form for them, create a Google form that looks like an order form and have them fill it out and then you can send it, uh, they can send it over to you. And then I have a virtual catalog that they can flip through. Because let's be honest, a lot of people want to flip through a catalog and see things in a catalog form than seeing them online. So, um, it has that. Then it has the welcome post with the video of how this party is gonna run because I want every guest to know, especially people that have never been to a Sensi party, how Facebook parties go. They can see that I'm gonna post for four days. They can see how, like I tell them how they can order. I can tell them that we are gonna go live and they're gonna be able to ask me all the questions that they want. Like, it's very important that you tell people how this party is gonna go because there a lot of people do not party online okay I introduce myself and I ask them to introduce themselves how do you know the host where are you where are you watching from where are have, how do you know Sensi a lot of people tell me they've never heard of Sensi a lot of people in these parties have said they don't know Sensi you guys Facebook parties don't have to be rocket science but you do have to give it a chance and if they're not working, you need to tweak them. You need to tweak them. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this same party format that I've been using for the past two months, I might tweak it from time to time. I might change the way that I post. I might you know, start off with warmers at one party and start off with diffusers for another party. That is when getting to know the host really matters. You need to get your host to give you certain information. Like my sister was like, I don't have friends with kids. I didn't even talk about the kids collection. I talked about it a little bit when I was doing my live, but I didn't post about it because she didn't have people that had kids. So get to know your host, find out what they're most excited about because what they're most excited about is what they're gonna talk about and what, the, what they're gonna comment about, what they're gonna tag people on is what they're most excited about. If they're excited about getting a diffuser for themselves, I bet your bottom dollar they're gonna be commenting on that diffuser post. Find out what they're excited about. Okay, so then we post, I let them know about notifications. And you guys, I created a group. So if you wanna be added to this group, 
you can just comment below and tell me I want to be added to the group. I'm not going to add everybody if you guys don't want to be added. Like, I'll just be plain blanket, like honest truth. I'm not going to add you if you don't want to be added. If you want to be added, if you want to see how I do my Facebook posts, see what I say, etc., etc., I'm more than glad you add to add you to it. But I will tell you this. Do not copy and paste. Do not copy and paste. You can copy the wording, put it in your notes, make it your own, and then use that for your Facebook parties. Because one, we don't want to end up in Facebook jail. Please do not put me in Facebook jail or anybody else. Two, not everybody says y'all. I'm just going to use that as an, ex as an example. I use y'all because I lived in Texas for three years. And I got used to saying y'all. And in Florida, we tend to use that sometimes. So if you don't use y'all and you're copying and pasting my, po my post and you're saying y'all, people are going to be like, who is this person that's saying y'all because... You know, this girl does not say y'all or, you know, like if you guys, like I always say like, that's so amazing. Like if you're saying that and you don't say it on the normal, like people are going to catch on to it. Like I, you guys know my love for Chloe Cox and she says bougie all the time. I never say that word. I never say that word. So if I were to go on a training and be like, oh my gosh, that's so bougie and this and that people would be like, what the, what is this Liz? Like that's not how Liz talks. So you have to make it your own. You have to like go through and say, okay, like what can I take from this post that I love and make it my own? What can I add? What can I take away? Like my posts are not perfect, you guys. My posts are not perfect. I tweak them sometimes when I go to post. I'm like, this is really long. I'm going to shorten it here. Or like, you know, like this one needs a little bit more information because like these people are really interested in this, et cetera, et cetera. So tweak it to your liking. Um, you can use the graphics. I honestly don't care. They're not mine. <laughs> we have permission to use them. But if you have your own graphics, use your own graphics. Like I literally have used different graphics for different posts. Um, because like there are pictures that I'm like, I'll, you know, I'll post a picture of my kid with like the Spider-Man or I'll post a picture of Deli with her Cinderella warmer, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, So use your own pictures if you have them work on taking your own pictures. I was just talking with Ashley and I was telling her about how for my hosting um, post, I have Danny already like planning on this weekend taking some pictures of me with my sister or with me with my mom smelling the scents. And he's gonna do some, some nice portrait pictures for me to use instead of using the graphic that I have right now. He's helping me brand out and use my own graphics but tailoring them to like what the post is about. Um, if you find great videos or great graphics with, di uh, about our different products, use those. You guys, you don't have to use any of this. You can use all of it. Like it's up for you guys to use. Um, okay. So let's talk about the live. I keep my lives under an hour. I try to do it for 30 minutes. Sometimes it goes over if they're asking a lot of questions, especially. Um, I let the host know that when I go live, I'm going to go ahead and click on that invite button and I'm going to click invite on every single person that has joined the group because I want them to join us live. I tell her to go ahead and tag people, especially if they're not live, about products that I'm talking about that they wanted to see. This right here, if you don't have one, add it to your next order. This is like our Scentsy Bible. This helps me describe the products. You guys, I don't know all the products from a, like from A to Z on description. Every time I'm talking about the laundry, I forget about the whole six enzyme thing. I'm like, is it enzymes? I'm like, is that the word? This is what I use. I use this at home parties. I'm not going to lie. When I'm at home parties, this is on my table. And Ashton can tell you because I did a home party for her and this was on my table. And I, whenever I had a question that I could not remember, like whenever I had a question I couldn't remember or whenever I would get like stumped on the description or like what I was trying to say, I would refer to my book and I would be like, oh yeah, we have three different warmers with one, two, three, four, five different finishes. There's just things that my mind will not just memorize. There's things that it will, which are very random things usually, but sometimes they just, there's things that just do not um, memorize. Like somebody asked me the other day, what are the little letters stand for? I knew that those were our finishes. I just could not remember 
what finishes they were. So I had to refer to this and say, crackled glaze, glow, hand painted, hand painted, reactive glaze, and reactive glaze. Those are our finishes. I did not remember that off the top of my head. So if you don't have a product training guide, you need to get yourself one every single season. It is like two or three dollars in the in the Sensi Success Store, and it makes a great team gift if you are looking for like an inexpensive uh, gift to give to your team members that is beneficial to their business. So this I use this during my live. Like literally, this is my live wall. I'm gonna flip my phone over. Hopefully, it won't fall. That's my live wall. Okay, so it goes from diffusers and kids at the top warmers and fans in the middle on the go and flower and then i have clean in the body down there you guys can't see because i have boxes ready to ship stuff out and then i bring out from the laundry which is right next to where i'm at because i'm like i moved uh, sorry you guys i moved my thing and now it's like wobbly of course okay stay my phone is like super heavy and I don't want to take it out of its case because I'm afraid it's gonna fall and break but I'm gonna have to why do I have like that glare now you guys see that glare or is it just me there we go stop moving okay um, I think they get a product guide in their welcome packet, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh, I'm about to take this off. It's being ridiculous. Okay. So, it's, it's being ridiculous now. Like, it keeps moving, and my phone is not that heavy. It's heavy, but it's not that heavy. Okay. So, um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to go check that they get one in their welcome packet, one of these, um, like in their in their starter kit. But if they don't, that is a great idea. You can do that as you can add that to the welcome packet um, that you send out to your new front line. Um, okay, so I use that. You guys see my wall? My wall stays like that. I don't. I mean, I have an excess of product, so I have the luxury of being able to keep my um, wall like that um well in the $20 kit they didn't get a lot the $20 kit yeah definitely don't get a lot in that kit I think they, they only got like 20 testers too um but that is a great um addition that you can do to your hold on try this again to your welcome packets because it's too low on that thing okay perfect okay so my wall stays like that, right? But then when I am doing my lives, I take them around my house. I show them how these warmers are part of my decor. They're not just standard on my shelf, like right here. I show them my salt lamp warmer. I show them the one in my room. I go into my kid's room, which usually they're sleeping, and I whisper and I show them. I am. I love you so much too. That's his new thing. Um. I show them the ones in my kitchen. I show them everything. I show them my diffuser, my uh, di my Fleur diffuser, because I want them to see it in a setting. I want them to picture the warmer that they're wanting to buy in their home, okay? And like I said, I try to keep it under an hour. I tell them at the beginning of my live, when I'm introducing myself, like, every question that somebody asks, you will be entered into a drawing because I want them to be interactive and I will send them a scent circle, you guys. Our scent circles are not that expensive and it's a tax write-off. If you can't afford a scent circle, do samples. Tell them you'll send them a sampler package. Um, gather a couple different samples, some body samples from the Sensi Success Store or laundry or anything like that and send them out to them. They'll be so excited. Now, when I tell them that, I do tell them Hold your horses though with the excitement of asking questions though because we don't want you to get frozen where you can't ask any more questions so make sure that when you're asking a question you're giving it some time for me to answer the question 
and then asking another one because if they ask if they comment too much back to back facebook will um freeze them from commenting because they think it's spam so if you decide to go that route where you want them to be interactive and you tell them that make sure that you tell them not to comment like so fast that they will get um like frozen or whatever i can't remember what the, what the word is okay so when my facebook's reach like when, when we were closing it out right i finished posting again i'm communicating with my host i let her know hey you're like this is the last day i'm posting in your in your group page when do you want me to close out this party we decide sometimes we the, sometimes the deciding factor is where she's at in her party maybe she hasn't reached 200 dollars yet in sales so we're gonna extend it for another week or we're gonna um extend it till couple more days three or four more days sometimes the deciding factor is payday sometimes they're like can we extend it till next friday because people get paid next friday fine i don't care if they extend it for 15 days you guys i really don't as long as they're interactive and they're collecting orders and i'm still communicating with them if i see them fizzling out and they're not like interactive they're not really com uh, responding then I kind of know that they're done and I can let them know like, hey, your party's at 150, do you want me to go ahead and just close it out? I do honor what they have at that point. So that means they get $15 free. I'm gonna get that party to 200 with other orders and I will let them have the $15 free just because they got me some orders and I'm thankful for them. You don't have to, they didn't meet the requirements. You can let them know like, hey, your party didn't meet the requirements. I'll send you a sun circle as a thank you and that and let it be that but you can choose to do how you want if their party is already at 200 again if their goal is 350 if their goal is 500 we go back to like well when do you want to close this if their party was just like whatever i just want to get some free and half off if they decide to close it that night i'll close it that night i'll let people know like tonight's the last night to order make sure you get your orders in to your host to me or on the website and it will be closed after tonight so communicating when you're going to be closing it out with your host and then communicating that with a party guest okay asking for parties from parties every person that orders again goes back to the beginning ask them to host a party thank you so much for your order thank you so much for supporting so and so's party would you like to have a party and get some free sensi it's that simple you guys i have booked two parties or three parties doing that okay and I know like you guys I hated asking these questions I still get nervous asking these questions I still fear getting no's but if you don't ask you will not know okay so party comes to an end they decide that they don't want to join I just archive the group I'm leaving them open until the party ship so that I can say your party's on printed status. That means they're working on it. Your party shipped. It will be here on this day. I will get orders out on this day. Let me know what's the best time. That way it keeps them excited. And guess what? If somebody wants to order, they're seeing my post, they can order. They can't order under that link, but they can order through me. So after that, then I'm closing the group. I'm delete, I'm, I delete everybody and I delete the group, okay? when i'm getting ready to close out the party you guys generosity okay remember that's one of our um like part of our mission statement right i call i message my host and i say oh my gosh you girl your party was so amazing i'm so glad you decided to have a party you have this much in free this much half off are you sure you don't want to join because if you decide to join, I will flip this party, meaning that it is yours. You're still gonna get the free and half off and you're gonna make this much from this party. I've gotten a yes, I've gotten a no. I got a no from a girl that would have made $100 from her party. But you know what she said to me, which stuck out to me and I said, I'm gonna ask every single person, thank you so much for your transparency and your generosity. It's just not the right time. You guys, what if, every time I say what if, I think of a TikTok video I did like a month ago. That's like, what if, yeah, sorry. What if that lady 
was sitting at home saying, I want to do Sensi, but I just don't know how I can afford the $99 kit. So I guess I'm not going to ask Liz about it. She could have walked away and she was my best host ever. Like literally, she would post every single day. She would tag people. She would comment. She would message people. Like she was doing my job for me and it was so amazing and super, super sweet lady. Don't ever let a potential team member walk away because you're scared of a no. Again, don't let a potential new team member walk away because you're scared of a no. You guys, you are one rock star away from your business completely changing. Okay? One rock star away. Okay? And that comes from the crew. Sorry, I keep bringing them up, but it's been amazing to watch them. And they've talked about that. You know, when Chloe Cox joined, she, her husband bought her kit. She didn't want nothing to do with Sensi. She was like, I just graduated. I'm a nurse, blah, 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 blah. Um, and last fall, her team did over a million dollars in sales. I think of her upline. Chloe Cox changed her business because she spoke about it, because she shared her story. Share your story in your live. Talk about why you love Sensi, why you joined. If you don't want to go into all the whole detail because you don't want to like make it a sob story, like my story is not a very happy one. I get a lot of, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss because my true, my Sensi story started with me losing my son. But you guys, if you don't share your story, you're not going to resonate with people. You need to share your story. You need to share why you love Sensi, why you love this job. There are people that don't realize that they can do what we do. They think that we were recruited. They think that we were asked to do this. They don't realize that they can join today. And if you don't tell them that, they're not going to know. Okay? So, before you close out parties, offer it to the host. I've even gone as far as asking the host, well, you don't want it. Do you know if anybody else would want to join? Like, I have the $59 kit up for grabs. Like, your party qualifies for it. If they tell me, go ahead and offer it, I go ahead and offer it. They tell me, no, I don't. Like, maybe they're thinking, maybe in the future I want to be a consultant. I don't want no one joining now because I want them to be my customers. But it's up to them. It's up to them. Okay, so ultimately, what I want you to walk away with this in this training is, from this training is, you need to ask to get the parties. If you're not asking, you're not gonna get them. Like, you guys, this is my schedule right now for June. Okay, I have a party on the 5th, I have a party on the 9th, I have a party on the, on the 12th, and I'm still waiting for my bring back my bars to ship out to book, to put dates on two parties because they're bring back my bar parties. And so we don't want to do their parties without my bring backs because they want to be able to showcase the bring backs to their family and friends. So June hasn't even started and I have five parties on the books. If you're not front loading your calendar, if you're not planning for the month that's coming, you're going to go into that month not knowing what you're going to be able to achieve. Okay. Now, Sometimes we can do that and miracles happen and we get the best PRV month, we get promotions, we get um, new recruits, we get parties because people are like, can I do a party, etc., etc. But you guys, let's be quite honest. If you don't plan for your business, your business is just going to go like this. It might even go like this. Just quite honest. You might go from a month that you had $500 in sales to zero sales because you didn't plan on it. Okay? So, you need to plan for your month that's coming. Front load the first of the month, especially if you're going for a promotion or especially if you want to go like for high PRV. Because if you wait till the end of the month, if you start off the month and you're just kind of cruising along, you're just like, well, yeah, I'm asking for parties, but I'm not really asking. Um... Yeah, I got a $30 order here and I got a $30 order there. It's going to be harder for you to do it at the end of the month than at the begin like than if you start from the beginning, okay? When I like right now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not 
working on promoting to star director. I want it. Don't get me wrong. It's on my goals. It's in my goals. And I even have a date on it that I want to reach it by. But it's not something I'm like actively working towards because I know that I have to work on certain things to get there. I have to work on my like building my front line. I have to work with strengthening my front line. And I'm working with my leaders to get them to be consistent in their journey, right? But when I was working towards a promotion, when I was a lead going to star, star to superstar, um, okay, um, superstar to director, I was tracking those numbers on a daily basis. Like those numbers that I posted on there on the team page under under units that say like um, group wholesale volume towards like the next promotion, or whatever. I was watching them daily, daily. I broke it down to what I needed to do myself to help that number grow. So if you don't have a plan, if you are not partying, it's going to be so much harder for you to hit thousand dollar months, two thousand dollar months, get promotions because you're just cruising along. You need to have a plan. And you guys, like, I, I get it. Sometimes we cruise along and we get there. We do. We're like, oh crap, I'm a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars away from a promotion. I even try. But sometimes it's not that easy. So if you guys are growing, you guys want to grow your business. You guys want to grow your customer base. You guys want to grow your PRV. You guys want to sponsor. You guys want to promote. You guys need to be doing the parties. You guys need to be asking people to join your team. You need to be asking people to party because guess what when you do a party you get to know people that you would never get to know if you these people didn't party the, the girl that party with me in may we, we did her party may 4th i remember may, sorry may 1st sorry may 1st is when i did her live you guys i got one two three four parties because i met her and one new team member i didn't know these people i didn't know not one of them and me and her know people that, like, we have friends in common. We have lots of friends in common because we go to the same church. The four people that have partied with me and the one new team member, I had never met them before. She knows a whole nother people that I don't know about, even though we have a lot of friends in common. So when you do parties, you're going to meet people. And guess what? One of her hosts, one of the people that hosts a party, like... When she started inviting people, I was like, how do you know this person? She's like one of my best customers. And like they know each other from their church because they go to the same church. And I'm just like, wow. Like, so this person that I knew introduced me to this person. This person knows people that I know. I had never met them. And my customer has had parties at her house. But this host never had been there. She never, she never could make it. So guess what? She never bought Sensi from me. But now she's in love with Sensi. She loves Sensi. And guess what? I got to meet new people. People that don't live in Florida. People that live in Davenport and Claremont. Because that's where her daughter lives. So you guys see how my network is expanding? That's what happens when you do parties. You guys, I've never have turned down parties. I love parties. I just never asked for parties. I waited for people to tell me they wanted a party. And I had to change my mindset and say, people are not going to always ask me. People are not always going to ask me to join. I've had, I've gotten lucky with a lot of my team members who have either just gone to my website and joined or who have asked me to join, but you have to be asking, put that, like do the no, the hundred no challenge, do the hundred no challenge. If you want to really like get over it, do the hundred no challenge. Every time you get a no, tally it up until you get to a hundred. You're going to see how many yeses you get in, the, in between. If you hate rejection, go watch the, the video that Jason Harwood talked about during Patricia's training. Patricia posted it on her team page about rejection. I think he did like, I can't remember how many days of rejection. Dude, he did some freaking like crazy stuff just to get rejected to get over the feeling of rejection. Okay? You need to get over that feeling. You guys, I'm going to leave you with this. If you were on a plane, I know it's not the ideal situation right now, but if you were on a plane and you offer gum to a complete stranger that's sitting next to you and they say no, are you gonna go to the bathroom and cry because they said no? No, 
You might just turn and be like, okay, no worries. Do you want gum? Okay, cool, whatever. Like, you're not gonna go in the bathroom and cry. My sister's a waitress. I asked her, what do you do when someone says no when you tell them the specials or when you tell them about dessert? She's like, they say no, I just go to the next table. She doesn't go in the kitchen and cry. She doesn't say, oh my gosh, that table told me no. Like, oh my gosh, they don't want dessert. What did I do wrong? No. She goes and asks the next table if they want it. Like, so what? Somebody doesn't want to party with you, they're the ones missing out. They're the ones missing out on rewards. They're the ones missing out on amazing products. And honestly, it's all because they have a bad misconception about partying. So, can't change anybody's mind. Can't change their mind. Just let them be, bless and release, and move on to the next person. Rachel did something amazing the other day that she told me about, and I'm gonna um, share this with you. She made a list of people that she's come into contact with over the last few months that she has not talked to, to them about Sensi. And she made it an effort. She's making an effort to talk to them and ask them if they wanna do a party. You guys, if you haven't worked on your list of 100, you need to start. You need to start. And if you have done your list of 100, you need to go back and reevaluate and see who's already a customer, who has hosted, get them off that list and fill those spots. We are constantly meeting people. And trust me, I struggle with that because I'm like, I work from home. I don't go out. Like today, I went out. I dropped off an order to my mom and I dropped off a hostess packet to my lady. Went to Chick-fil-A, grabbed lunch and came home. I didn't meet anybody. Bull crap. I had three people help me at the Chick-fil-A line. The guy that took my order, the guy that gave me my receipt, and the girl that gave me my, my, or, my lunch order. I could have given information to those three people. You have to be conscious of what you're doing. You are your marketing department. If you're not marketing Sensi, no one is gonna know that you're the Sensi girl. You need to be marketing. I wake up every single morning and the first thing I do is I make my bed, I get ready, I grab my Scentsy Fresh and I freaking make video uh, stories on my Instagram and on my Facebook. You know how many people I've gotten messages from saying, oh my gosh, I didn't know that they had like a Scentsy Fresh. You guys, I do it every single day. They're still not watching stories every single day because guess what? Stories get lapsed. I had a, situ a scenario where I sent Chloe Cox a gift. Um, I think it was like right before Christmas. With a really nice letter about how she's changed my business. She posted it on Instagram and tagged me in the post. Well, this girl right here doesn't go on Instagram every day. So when I checked my Instagram, like three days later, it said Chloe Cox tagged you in a post. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like I went, I ran, I'm like this post has uh, like lapsed or whatever. And I was like, I called Beth, I'm like, she tagged me. She's like, you didn't see it? I saw it, it was so nice. Oh my gosh, those earrings are lovely, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, crap. That's what happens when you don't check your Instagram every single day. So your customers are not ch checking their social media every single day. Who cares if you posted about the fragrance flower yesterday? Post about it again. Someone, I bet you someone did not see it. I'm not telling you to go live about a product every single day. Share on your stories. Share on your Sensi group. Share in different parts of your social media to get engagement. There's days where I share on my VIP page. There's days where I share on my stories. I share on my page. I share on my Instagram. I don't share like in all platforms everything. Yes, my stories, I do share them on every platform. I share them on Instagram and I have my Facebook link so it goes right to Facebook. It's easy peasy. But on my sense, my sense with Liz page, I posted about the fragrance flower this morning. I didn't put nothing about Scentsy Fresh. If they follow me, they can see it on my stories. But tomorrow, I might post about Scentsy Fresh, and I'm not gonna post about the Scentsy flower. So you get my point. Like I'm posting the information of how I'm using Scentsy. I think a lot of people think, oh, I don't want to be salesy. Like nobody has money right now. Nobody has money right now. Since he's having their best month ever, and May is a slow month. Last month, last year, we didn't hit director numbers in May. And we're about to hit star director numbers, you guys, which is three times as much. 
So I don't want to hear people are not buying right now. Because people are buying right now. People, my parents had to close their business and my mom is still buying Sensi. Okay? They're reopening now, thankfully. But they had to close their business where they laid off my husband. And my mom is still buying Sensi because she wants her house to smell good. You need to just share. It's not about selling. It's about sharing. How you're using um, Sensi. How you're using your Sensi Fresh. How your kids are using Sensi. Like, today I did a video of how Deli can change her own wax and how I'm not scared because it won't burn her. I got three messages. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I didn't know that Sensi's warmers did not get that hot. I thought that, they, that my kids could get burned. No. No. If you don't share what Sensi is all about, people won't know. If you're not talking about the opportunity of host rewards, people won't know that they can get rewards for partying with you. If you don't talk about the join opportunity, they won't know that they can join your team. Like, that's just plain blunt truth. You need to open your mouth. Like, I'm, I'm known as a crazy Sensi lady and I don't care. This is my job. And... I know that we're on unprecedented times and I know that it's not easy right now, you guys. I have never, never experienced this with Sensi. Being the back order list being so long, shipping being delayed this late. But I, if I know one thing is that Sense, in Sensi is that Heidi and Orville always have our back and they always have our best interest and they are not self-serving. They, they would rather not get a paycheck themselves than to have to close Sensi doors if they don't have to. Okay, be blessed that Sensi did not close the door like a lot of businesses have had to. You guys, we have been blessed that we still have jobs because this is my job. This is not a hobby. This is my job. This is how I'm paying for bills. This is how I'm paying for remodeling my house right now. This is how I'm saving money to hopefully buy a house soon. This is my job. And if Sensi would have had to close its stores, I don't know how we would have gone through this time. Being an open book, you guys, when my husband got laid off, I paid the rent. Sensi paid the rent. Because we did not have a lot of money in savings. The stimulus checks have not gone out. And he was doing odd jobs here and there, working Uber, working, like helping this guy do this luggage thing to be able to get some extra money so that we could have food in our, in our fridge. When that Sensi paycheck came in, I was able to tell him I have enough to pay the rent. Do you know the weight that that lifted off my husband's shoulders? Like, he was like, what? You, you made enough? And I'm like, yeah, I made enough. And then he finally got a job and it's paying the bills. And guess what? I'm putting money in savings. I am remodeling the house because it's something that we had been wanting to do but could not afford to do. And it feels so good to not have that burden on our shoulders. You guys, Sensi is a blessing. But if you sit there and you say, I can't get parties, I can't get no one to join. I like Sensi's taking so long in shipping. You're not going to attract positive things. I don't like the shipping situation, but I'll tell you one darn thing. I have not been negative about it. I have not been negative about um, like people saying no to me. I have not been negative about not recruiting as many of you guys are sponsoring. Like, I mean, come on. Like some of you guys have sponsored two people, three people. Like it is amazing. And I can sit there and I can compare myself and I can just sit in my pity party and say, oh my gosh, like, I'm not getting recruits. I'm not getting this. But instead, I'm like, no, like I'm happy for them. How can I do that? And it comes back to asking. You need to ask people to join. You need to ask people to host parties. So I'm going to leave you guys with that because this is getting really, really long. But if you want to be added to that mock group, the Tinker Stars um, Facebook party mock group, I think that's what it's called. Tinker Stars team Facebook mock group. Let me know. I'll go ahead and add you. You guys, I'm not, I've turned all the comments off because I don't want anything to be uh, moved out of place. But if you guys have any questions, you guys can ask me. Um, 
like I said, you're free to use all the posts. You're free to use all the pictures. Of course, don't use a picture of me and my kids when you're talking about yourself because you won't look like me. Um, and, but yeah, easy peasy. And oh, and the cover banner, just to let you guys know, I use Canva. The cover banner, you just go in there, make a Facebook banner, and then you just edit it all. It's like whatever you want to have it. That's how I made the Facebook banners for my parties. So with that, I will guys, I will let you guys go and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.